The rotator cuff is a group of four tendons that comes from the shoulder blade and attaches around the humerus of the ball and socket joint of the shoulder. And so those four tendons, they kind of all join together underneath the deltoid muscle. And they kind of wear and tear just like I, I like in a fan belt in the car. And it can fray with time and eventually wear a hole in the tendon. That's where it helps to come into a physician to differentiate some of those, those problems and see if something's maybe more of a chronic overuse type injury versus a uh, more of a long-term problem, which could be like a, a rotator cuff tear. The main risk factors tend to be heavy overhead work or weightlifting. That tends to put a lot more stress on the rotator cuff and the shoulder in general. We like to avoid major interventions like surgeries as much as possible. So a uh, course of anti-inflammatories, often physical therapy, maybe even rest, just avoiding something uh, that they've been doing a lot. Sometimes when those initial changes aren't that helpful, and it usually is time to look at surgery to have the tendon tear fixed. And people do very well with, with those repairs. Full recovery time from a rotator cuff tear, I advise my patients between five and six months. The tendon uh, doesn't have very good blood flow and it's uh, very slow to reestablish a robust uh, connection and healing response to the bone. So that first five months is when uh, patients are really working on range of motion, strengthening and improving pain postoperatively.